My name is Patrick Schmidt. I'm the uh, proud CEO of the Iconic. So the Iconic was founded in uh, 2011. So we're three years old. We have about 300 staff in uh, Sydney and Melbourne. We have 700 Iconic brands, as we like to call it. Uh, more than 2,000 new styles a month. So. We really stand for the best passion in Australia. So I started my career um, at a pretty early age, um, age 17 in advertising. Um, I really had no idea about working or about really anything, but that first year in my career um, was really important for me because I probably learned more in that year than I did in the you know, 12 years prior at school. So fast forward um, to 2011, a couple of years later, I was a little bit older. I joined Groupon here in, um, in Australia. In fact, I was one of the co-founders, uh, which was a great privilege. And um, building up a company um, was something I've never done before. I was a consultant prior to that. But building up a company was probably the most challenging but also the most fun thing I've ever done in my life. I've been with the Iconic for just under a year. This role really came about in a coincidence. I lived in Sao Paulo um, a year ago. I went for dinner with a couple of uh, guys I knew and one of the guys who was there um, was the investor, the key investor into the Iconic. We started talking and he asked me whether I'm interested in the job. I didn't really look at that time, but the next day I had an email in my inbox which was basically a formal offer and that really got me started to think whether this would be an interesting opportunity. Career-wise, there weren't any light bulb moments, but there were a couple of coincidences and was lucky enough to stumble across them and transform them into an opportunity. Life is full, full of these things and it happens to everybody. The lucky people are the people who then identify these, these things and these opportunities and take the risk and really use them. Identifying the right people is, is obviously very hard. Um, we tend to go for um, talent and for attitude and for you know, the motivation uh, rather than the experience. We value experience as well, but if we see a sparkle in the eye, so to speak, um, and somebody being extremely hungry to learn, and we believe that that person has the ability to learn fast and to work hard, um, then we usually go for it. So what you see here um, in our office is a lot of young people with a lot of responsibility. But that doesn't mean that they don't have experience, it just means that they work very hard to gain that experience faster. Pretty much everybody who works in a, in a fast-growing business like ours can say that they can work 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and it would still not be enough. So I think it's all about setting priorities and setting, setting boundaries and you just have to stick with it. But yes, it's a constant struggle if you do so because you ultimately deprioritize something else to do something which at that moment is more important to you. But that doesn't mean that obviously, you know, work is not important. It just means that at that moment, um, I prioritize something else. And if you don't do that, you burn out very soon, which is obviously not in, in, the, in, in the interest of the shareholders or the business. You don't have to plan everything in life. Um, sometimes things just also happen, but when they happen, you really have to pursue them and you have to be ready to take a risk. My name is Patrick Schmidt. Thanks for visiting us at The Iconic.